Hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play James Fighters Anthology. Now, last time we had destroyed several munition silos on the island of... Whatever the island way up in the northeast of us, so let's see where that leads us now. She asked Gotan, U.S. Wasp LHD 1, date May 11th, local time 1000 hours, weather, cloudy situation. Our first priority is defense of the task force. Mission objective fly a bark cap off the coast of Shia Kotin, defending the Wasp from air attack. Order of battle recommended aircraft AVAB recommended weapons A12089M. Threat suppression data ground opposition unknown. Or sorry, ground opposition none, air opposition unknown. So very small island, so I doubt any opposition will come directly from the island, other than maybe some yaks and helicopters off an improvised landing strip, but there could be bombers coming from the Russian mainland, so. Uh, we'll take our usual Harrier and load up for an air-to-air -air mission. And with that, we'll jump into the mission. Oh, we already got lots of hostiles on the radar. Oh, we have blackjacks coming. That's not good. Blackjacks, yaks. Uh, we do have other Harriers in the air that will hopefully help us, but they'll probably get shot down. So, I guess our priority is we're going to close in with the Blackjacks and The question... Oh my god. There are bogeys everywhere. What else do we got? Yaks, yaks. And that's now the your three o'clock high. Alright, so they have bombers coming from two directions. We will take the blackjacks and uh, let's have our women go for the uh, T-22M. So, Contact, your 12 o'clock high, route 9 miles, please advise. Alright, we gotta take this guy out because otherwise he will fuck our day out. Someone else is starting with us too. War bandits. Jesus. I hope we get some reinforcements for this. Alright. That's gonna be our damage, even though it doesn't look like that doesn't help us. Let's dive. Dive to the deck. Shoot a missile at me? Unless I see a missile flying across my bow on the RWR. Women, you're free to engage. Good job, Ringo. Missile log. Get this guy off me. Ah. Much as I need the AMRAMs for the big boys. Yeah, that carrier from Aces is uh, pretty bad. I'm taking a shot. Yeah, we man take them. All right, let's get them. Bullseye! Missile launch! Oh, 
hopefully our windmill can be able to back up the Enix than too many. There we go. We got a new X, so. Oh, those are some big bombers. Bullseye! At least, even though they have their afterburners engaged, for some reason they're moving very slow. So. Of course, that could change very rapidly in my life, so that. Impact! So I can catch up with these guys, I don't want to waste the sidewinders on them. Because the sidewinders won't do that much damage. Of course, if he's going to outrun me. Anything that they just run away from me. Well, this guy might actually have a chance. Oh, I think it'll be a very narrow chance, but. Not without longer range missiles. That's what really annoys me about this campaign more than anything else. Is we're basically at the mer mercy of them because they can do these hit and run. TU 95s? Now that's something we can accept. You want to stay. I do believe these guys have to make that salute. If at all possible. Let's do, uh, let's put them on the sides. Are those? Let's go. All right, next part. Hey there, how do you feel about it? Finally got the 
drop on these guys. Got one. And it says he's still falling. He chased them all the way up there. Let's see. Inbound to Waypoint Bravo, bearing 300. So we're going to uh, meet up with one man. So we gotta destroy the last two bombers. I think I'm turning my cameras off for now. We can actually turn our radar off because we. I guess. I was hoping we could just use the uplink from the... Anyway, so I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Yeah, okay, so the F-15Js are going to stay to our south. Now, unfortunately, we cannot just run the, uh, the T P twenty two engines out of fuel. They have more fuel than us. So. Okay. Yeah, see, they, uh... I'm running completely passive. And as soon as I even start coming near them, they turn tail on me. Which is really fucking funny. So I think what we're gonna have to do... is we'll basically have to get them close enough to the carrier or to the boss that they want to attack it and then we'll have to uh, jump on them before they can actually finish their attack. Of course the other option is maybe if they're constantly after burning, maybe they can burn to their fuel fast enough crash before we do, but I doubt it because we have a lot less fuel. Okay, so they're falling. Yeah, see, they're cruising at our, like, maximum speed just about, so... The other option is maybe we wait for them to land if they have a base somewhere, and then we take off flight of their base Waypoint Charlie, bearing 37. Maintain Angel 10. That might be enough. Well, 
let's cruise here. They aren't even interested in the fleet anymore. Okay, let's bring ourselves up to high altitude because I want to be as fuel efficient as possible. Oh yeah, they're landing. We are going to set a course for Uruk. We only get one try at this with how low our fuel is. So. Let's see. We got another 50 miles to go. Seven minutes to target. Fuel is starting to get critically low. Start diving in, maybe we can get a few little efficiencies from that. Well, we're going to go for the one with full health since he probably has more gun ammo than us. Hopefully, the uh, Sams aren't too numerous. There's our target. 2,000 pounds of fuel left. Huh, oh, interesting. Looks like there must have been some combat that took place here. It looks like they do have... Oh, they have a ZSU-57, which hopefully won't be too much of a problem for us. Wingman is behind us. Alright. We're going in for the very low strafe. Looks like that's a ZSU 23 there. Hopefully it doesn't. I'm ah, gonna try to fuck it. We are going to climb to 40,000 feet and then cruise. I hope the hell we have enough fuel to make it back. Speed west. Bingo fuel. Bug out. Bug out. Seventeen hundred pounds of fuel left. All right. Now it's just playing the waiting game, really. We have. We're at 
cruising altitude. We got about 15 minutes until we hit the carrier, or the loss rather. Looks like they've actually moved a fair bit south from where we started off, so... It's going to be very close. At the very least, we should be able to get within the recovery zone of the carrier. I'll be uh, in the loss, but... I wouldn't feel great about doing recovery like that, but... Considering how we basically had to hunt down those bombers that could outrun us to beat the mission. I think it's fair game. No, priority is the defense of the fleet. No, seems like your priority is the destruction of those bombers regardless of whether or not they accomplish the mission. Oh, shit. Oh, that's kind of what I was going to do anyways, but uh, cutting back on, few, on uh, throttle and then we're going to go into a dive. So this will get a, hopefully get us the rest of the way to the Wasp. And the... Uh, Except it's going to shut off the engines at this point. Save some of that fuel. And I'm hoping we can pick up enough energy from this dive that we can uh, come in and land. I don't think we're, we're almost bit home. entirely behind the wasp, but it's I think our wing crashed. The F6 isn't responding, so. Alright, we are within five nautical miles. We have 500 pounds of fuel left, which actually I think is more than that uh, mission with the A7 started us out with. I think they gave us like 200. They put us pretty far from the carrier. Where to land? Oh, yeah. Wind at 2 zero One mile. I suppose I could have dumped the jamming pile, but... Alright, on the ball. That's how on the balls we'll get. I'm not going to do a perfect lineup with next to no fuel. Oh, man! We made it. We have 563 pounds of fuel left. And we need to go more just so we can park ourselves. Final total is 554. That, we're gonna call this mission to a close. Oh, come on, I didn't need a medal for that. That's something I deserve a medal for. Almost crashing my plane with no fuel to go after some bombers. I come in, says, absolutely has to be destroyed no matter what, even if you can't catch them. Debrief, USS Wasp, LHC-1, date May 11th, mission, Shiaskatin. 
resolution success. With that many bandits in the air, your abilities are truly stretched to the limit. You prove that your situational awareness is beyond that of the average fighter pilot. You destroyed the six targets and protected the friendly objective. Spent over an hour in the air with uncompressed time. And uh, apparently our wingman's... Oh, you know why it wasn't working? It's because uh, I told him to bug out. Okay, okay, so he was still alive. So that's good. Uh, he took a lot of damage, but he's still alive. So we have uh, six bombers and one fighter to our fighter. We want to start fighting. No fighters are flying. Oh, that's right. We destroyed the. Uh, we had two bears, I think, and then we had two blackjacks, and then two defense. Or not fencers, uh, backfires. Okay. Yeah, there were a lot of bombers there. And uh, we can repair the incidental damage to our aircraft, and we can finally get this guy back to fully operational status, so... Whew, that was a doozy. But we came out on top, we came out with no losses other than I think we lost a uh, Harrier from the Aces from tangling with the Yak-141, although well, that was pretty close. That might have gone either way. Because uh, the last time I looked at there, both damaged, but I did see the Yaks flying away. I did not see the Harrier flying away. So. so with that, I think that brings this mission to a close. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.